Welcome to my Mick video. I'm wearing my Mick t-shirt that a couple Mick students gave me. I'm not sure if it's true, but uh, I'll try to live up to it. In the last video, we looked at the function y equals x plus 1 over x squared. Today I want to make it a little bit more complicated and change the x to e to the x. e is Euler's number. It's like pi. It, it never repeats never terminate. It's about 2.718, and then just when you think it's going to repeat, it doesn't. You can watch my other video when I recite it to about 100 decimal points. Let's analyze this function. When x is, x can't be zero, so there's a vertical asymptote when x equals zero, which is the y-axis. So the graph will go to infinity there. If I set x equals 0 to find a y-intercept, again, I can't, so there's no y-intercept. If I set this equal to 0 and try to solve for x to get the x-intercept, that's always positive, and that's always positive, so you're never going to get 0, so there's no x-intercept either. And now let's look at the slope, which is the first derivative. The derivative of e to the x is exactly the same thing. That's what's so special about that number. And the derivative of that is 2 over x cubed, like we talked about last time. If I set that equal to 0, I want to find the x value, which will be the x value of the maximum or the minimum. How do you solve an equation like this? Well, it turns out you can't act exactly. You can't take the cube root. That doesn't work. You can't take the natural log. That doesn't work. It turns out you have to guess, believe it or not. Students don't like that because they want to be able to calculate it, but sometimes you can't. And it turns out that x is approximately 0.9. We'll see that later. That's called the critical value. And then if I want to find out if it's a maximum or minimum, I've got to take the second derivative. Derivative of e to the x is, again, the same stinking thing. And the derivative of that is... 6 over x to the 4. This is always positive again. This is always positive. So this is positive, and that implies that that max or min is actually a minimum. This means the slope is always increasing, so it's going to be shaped like that. And because it's never 0, there's no points of inflection. Point of inflection is when you have a maximum here, minimum here, and right in between where the curvature changes from curving down to curving up, that's a point of inflection. That's where the second derivative is zero, but we don't have that here. So let's analyze this on, by looking at the graphing calculator to see if everything we said is right. You can see the equation e to the x plus 1 over x squared if I graph it comes up along the x-axis, goes to infinity, there's the minimum. If I want to calculate the minimum, like last time, I just go down to point number three, cursor over, till I'm a little bit to the left of the minimum, and then go a little bit to the right of it, calculate it, and you can see it's 0.93 roughly, I said about 0.9, and the y value turns out to be about 3.7. So that's pretty much exactly what this all says. Vertical asymptote, no intercepts, no point of inflection, there's a minimum, x is 0.9, exactly as we predicted. So, please watch and share my videos. Some of them aren't getting as much love and attention as they should. And we'll see you next time.